Hello, hello beautiful Aquarius and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius, or anyone for that matter. Even if you're not an Aquarius and you feel drawn and guided to this reading, I trust that there is something in here for you. So please use your intuition and your own internal compass to lead you where you where you need to go um so aquarius i did your scrying messages your channeled messages on february the 11th i take a picture of it and i post it on my community page here on youtube as well as on my instagram page um so i saw a vision of a big hand and it was wiping or so like swiping across the sky and it revealed stars it felt like it was removing an obstacle for the stars to shine so i don't know if you're feeling a lot of cloudedness brain fog maybe confusion illusions um if you are experiencing storm like energies right now um but i feel like there's some kind of assistance here right now to help you clear out what needs to go i'm seeing a garbage can right now which is interesting because i had a dream of garbage disposal um i forget when i don't have my phone with me when i'm when i'm reading um and recording but i had a dream a little bit um, I think it was just after the New Year's, after, well, January, um, of a lot of, uh, a lot of energies are on their way out. So I feel like the reason why I'm thinking of that dream is because it's, it's connected to your reading here. So a lot of energies are on their way out. So maybe that's this, this hand that's swiping across the sky and revealing the sc the stars. I feel like it's revealing you. Um, I feel like there's a lot of emotions that are being revealed for you within you. Um, maybe something is being revealed to you, a wish. Um, but the stars, uh, then started to form a face and I felt like this is either a divine being or maybe this is you. I'm not really sure what this is about. So we're going to, you know, get into the cards and feel out the energy and allow the messages to continue to unfold. Um, but I felt like there's this connection to mirrors that you have right now. Um, and then I heard the mirrors in the sky. And then I felt the intuitive guidance to circle sky and mirrors like they're somehow connected, the sky and mirrors. So um, that's what I got regarding your spiritual growth. Now, I'm, I'm an intuitive reader. I have the capability of seeing energy, visualizing energy, feeling energy. Um, so I do my best to bring these messages down to earth, but, um, yeah, some of these things may sound really wonky, but I mean, this is just what I see. A lot of it is obviously symbolic. Um, so regarding love, I also see that someone sees you as the star. Um, I also heard a change of heart. I'm getting the numbers 218, 401, and 459. I feel like you're changing your heart regarding someone or someone is, um, is really trying to, like get on your good side is something now that I'm feeling. Um, I got a lot of red energy, root roses. I also heard 21 weeks from today. Um, and today being when I did the channeled messages on February 11th. So I'm seeing something approximately in July, July 7th, that time frame is coming through. I got the numbers 218, 401 and 459 for you. So let's just flow um again these are your scrying messages okay you may also have a connection to libra uh you may feel the intuitive guidance to watch libra's reading because libra um i wasn't even talking about anything to do with stars um they actually got the star card in this new oracle deck that i got um it's called the human spirit oracle if you're curious Okay, so let's just say my thanks. <sighs> Thank you to Goddess Anana Ishtar. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your love, your courage, your power, and your support. Thank you to my ancestors, known and unknown. Thank you, guardian angels and spirits of the Most High. 
and thank you for Aquarius. Thank you for allowing me to read for you today and for trusting me with your sacred energy. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I just heard, so this is connected to your love message. I heard you, you get what you give. There's someone and uh, there's someone here that it's not like you were being petty, but it's almost as if you held up a mirror to this person. Um, I feel someone is quite regretful treating you the way they did, or I, I feel like this is a separate energy. Because it kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, okay. For Aquarius, please bear it. Thank you. I mean, immediately. Okay, yeah. Head over heels came out. So you have a, you definitely have a lover that just came out of nowhere. Um, head over heels. And typically, the way that I do readings is, um, I read your spiritual growth and then your love because that's just the way that the messages flow. Um, but for some reason, there's something different in your energy now. It's almost like you are busy doing something. You are growing, healing, minding your own business, working, um, just focusing on you, focusing on your day to day and what you need to do for you. And then all of a sudden, someone here is just catching your attention. It feels like someone is catching your attention. I feel like their head over heels, your head over heels. Yeah, against the clock at the bottom of that. See, it's interesting because I felt this person come out of nowhere. I mean, we just flow. I mean, let's just let's just flow with this message. <laughs> like, what? Your love message just wants to come through. Someone here was working against the clock because they felt like their time was running out. Someone here feels like their time is running out, and it's a lover. It's a lover. Wow, you have your am I blue at the bottom of that. Like, yes. I feel like you may have two. I don't know. Let's just see. I feel, I don't, I don't know. Let's just, let's see what this is about. This one kind of took me by surprise. I feel like something needs to adjust right now. Yeah, make a wish at the bottom of that and i was mentioning wishes in your channeled messages so yeah wow manifest your miracle you have some really miraculous energies here all this stars manifest your miracle make a wish and i was talking about how your energy is shifting from cloudedness. Maybe you're the one that feels blue. I feel like there's this entity in the sky. They're like, make manifest your miracle, Aquarius. And here's you making the wish because the skies are cleared. There's no clouds above your head. There's no more storms. The storms have passed. It's like... It's like the, the sky is clear to make a wish. The road is clear for you to walk on, for you to proceed. And now I'm seeing roadblocks. I feel like, I feel like you were blue. I don't know if this is depression, sadness, but there's definitely this blue energy, this, this cloudedness. And it's interesting because I feel a little bit brain foggy, confusion. I, I feel like this blue energy, this confusion, this cloudedness is also connected to this lover. I'm seeing threads being weaved in the energy, so just bear with me for a moment because they're connected to why you feel blue. 
you could also, you feel why they feel blue. This blue energy, this, this confusion, this cloud was over the both of you. This against the clock, it's interesting because now I'm seeing the spirit of time as this energy, as this, as this spirit, as this entity. Again, that is like this over-encompassing energy over the both of you. I'm seeing them weave this way. So you have this energy that's being weaved with you and them. And this energy as well being weaved with you and them. The spirit of time. Feeling like you're going against the clock. I don't know if you've been also feeling like I need to, I need to get shit done. I need to focus. I need to work. I can't be bothered by you. I can't be bothered by how you feel. I got to focus on me. Let me shuffle. I'm going to go here. I haven't used this deck in a, in a while. I, I forget what it's called. I think the Mystical Moments Oracle. Because they're weaving some more energy for me. Because this manifest your miracle, this make a wish, this star in the sky that I saw, that spirit was wiping the sky. That's this entity. That's this face that I saw in the sky. And someone sees you because it's one sky, right? We have one sky. The face that someone sees in the sky is you. They see you as the star. See how it's all connect. It's it's all connecting. So just give me a moment. Let me continue to weave this for you. <laughs> so the it's like the face that you see in the sky is this is this entity, but the face that they see in the sky is you. Make a wish now. Make a wish now. You're manifesting your miracle. I don't know what it is. Everyone has different miracles that they're manifesting. But you have a very opportunistic time against the clock. You have a very opportunistic time. I'm getting the energy of what and wait. Okay, so story time. Um, I had a dream. I had a dream that, because it's connected here. I had a dream that... Um, I was running in an airport and I was late and or I had the perception that I was late. I was running. I was so fearful I was going to miss my flight. I kept running and running and running and I saw gate 108. That was my gate. And I proceeded down. The escalators took me down. I went down the escalator. I handed my boarding pass um, to the attendee and they said to me, they said to me, you still have time. You still have time. But there's this perception that you're you're running late. You're running you're running late. It's interesting because I'm getting like parallel parallel realities. Because to your person that's just here in your reading, they, they felt like they were going against the clock. They felt like they were up against the clock. That if they do not express to you how they feel, it's too late. You, on the other hand, this wish, this miracle that you're manifesting is all in perfect timing. So you have like the spirit of time that is this energy that we all are in, that we all perceive, but we all perceive it differently. We're all always, we're, all of us are all in different timelines as well. So do you see what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm reading his or her reality and then your reality under the encompassing spirit of time. 
and miracles and the sky. These are all encompassing energies, but you and this person have parallel realities, experiencing them and perceiving them very differently. But now I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing it connect. I'm seeing it connect. It's, it's like it's all connected. You're going to connect. You're going to meet. Okay, so we're just going to flow. I love it. I love how... I love doing readings that kind of take me by surprise as well. You remind me of Virgo right now. I don't know if you're connected to a Virgo. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you have here Mermaid's Love. Number 24. See how I said you're going to connect? You're going to connect. 24. Bloom. You hear under my umbrella and oh, sunny day. Interesting. See how I was um, talking about the sky and clouds and storms for you? Because there's going to be a sunny day. That's what I saw in my vision. I saw the universe or the hand of God or whatever, whatever hand it was. It was symbolic, obviously. It was wiping the sky. It was wiping the clouds. Look at the clouds above here and it's raining. And then it's sunny. There's no more blue energy. I feel like I need to focus on you right now. I'm going to get to this and I'm going to return back to this in just a moment. Okay, because I also feel like that's was your reality. You connected with this person. Something happened. We're, we're going to look into that. You had to focus on you. Like, I feel like I just need to focus on you in this moment right now because that's what you did. You were just like, leave me alone for a moment. I need to focus on me. I need to focus on why I'm so fucking blue right now. I need to focus on this cloud that's above my head. I don't know. You're, you like, I, f I feel brain foggy, brain foggy, confused. So I want to focus on you for just a moment because the sky will clear for you, okay, to make a wish, to manifest your miracle. This, I just heard the skies are opening. The skies are opening. The sun is going to shine. But I want to, I want to dig into this a little bit more because some of you are in this blue energy today, right now. So, you know, I want to transmute. I want to see. I want to see what's going on with you, Okay. Let's get into, <laughs> let's get into this energy here. This is the shaman, mystical shaman or shamanic dreams, excuse me. Oh my God. It, it's, it is, it's, I just saw the perfect storm in here on the split. I don't know if it'll come out. I just saw it. And I was like, yeah, this, that, maybe that's what this is. It's a perfect storm. I'm also seeing someone maybe a watch fanatic, okay? Um, like they love watches or they have a collection of watches. They may have a very expensive watch, like a Rolex or something like that. They may have gifted you with a watch or they have had a watch passed down from them and their family. Maybe that was you. I'm seeing someone in that energy. They love watches. Okay, let's see. Let's see you. Dream thief, refusal of the call. See, you, you were in an energy where you felt like you weren't living your dreams. I wasn't living my dreams. I'm getting, I'm getting 213. Something may have shifted for you on February 13th. This is also what made you blue. What made you sad. 
what made you confused because you had a dream this is also why i had to share my dream you were sad confused depressed blue because you weren't living your dream you refused something about your dream or you were confused about your dream i feel like this connection was so incredibly massive in the beginning just the way that it took me by surprise like this person just came in suddenly and i was just like wait what okay let's just flow in it i feel like that's what happened with you this person just kind of came in head over heels came into your life and you were just like wait what and the energy was so massive. It wasn't malefic. It wasn't like anything bad. It was just so massive that it wasn't tamed or it wasn't tempered. So it was storm-like. It was chaotic. You were focused on something. You were focused on some kind of wish of yours. You were focused on some kind of dream of yours. And then this energy came in, this connection came in, and all of a sudden, it was just all that you could see. It was all that you could focus on. And it was just so large that it almost clouded the dream that you were focused on before they came in. And then you started to feel disconnected. You started to feel disconnected from self. But I feel like the disconnect from self is actually leading you to self. It's leading you to a discovery of self. It's leading you to bloom. To some kind of new growth. I feel like a lot of you are in this blue energy right now. This is why I want to talk about it. Some of you may be feeling like you're not living a dream of yours. But you will. Oh, sunny day. You will. This this dream is going to bloom. Even, even the colors. See the pink colors? They're very synchronistic to each other. They're going to bloom. Okay. Okay, so just like a crap load of cards just fell out. Let me feel it out. They're all face down. It's it. Let me feel it out because it feels like. Um, that's thank you, spirit. It, it's it's like throwing it's throwing it in the garbage. I'm not gonna. Um, they're face down. I'm not, I'm not gonna look at it right now. Because I shared that other dream that i had so i shared two dreams with you i was dreaming of garbage disposal so this blue energy that you may be in right now okay this storm like energy where you feel like you're not living a dream of yours or you're not manifesting your miracles you feel very cloudy brain foggy that's on its way out now let's look at this they're all down Oh, I kid you fucking not. <laughs> the hand. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. 14's wheel. Luck and right timing. Spirit of time. And then you have the my favorite card in this entire deck. Because it is just the cutest. If you're the benefactor, grace and generosity. See the two? you guys are connected i'm seeing 303 the number 303 323 2233 or 313 a lot of threes a lot of threes um i'm also seeing 1331 a mirror frequency a mirror mirror tone okay um it's on its way out this blue energy this this cloudedness this brain fog it's it's on its way out Okay, um, see how I said that for you, it's, it's perfect timing. For you, it's perfect timing. 
when the sky clears up, when there's a sunny day, you don't need your umbrella anymore. And the sky opens up and the entity appears, the face in the sky, the divine energies appear to you, okay? The face in the sky is the divine energies appear to you, your guys, your spirit team, and you feel clear to make this wish, to manifest your miracles. The universe is your partner. This is this 1331 frequency. When there are mirrored tones, mirrored frequencies in a reading, like mirrored numbers, it's uh, it, it it feels like a thread. Okay, like an energy is being weaved. It almost feels like a, a also like causation, um, like the butterfly effect. A particular energy has an impact on the other. Okay. They know how much this has impacted you. And so that's why I saw the hand. Because the hand to me is always symbolic of some kind of help, some kind of aid. Whenever I see a vision of hands, I see it as the hand of the universe or the hand of God or the hand of your angels or your ancestors to assist you because they know how hard this has been on you. They know. They know how blue you have been. I see you manifest your miracle. I see a dream taking off. Okay, a dream coming into full bloom for you. All right? All in perfect timing. Um, I want to continue. I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> I'm not done with you yet. Okay? Um, I'm going to get to this in just a moment. That's connected to this mermaid's love when you guys connect feel like we're still unfolding this so um i'm gonna go to the cards wait yeah okay interesting because I felt like so in the beginning I was like who's this energy when this person came in and I was like this is this feels different you may have two people um I'm gonna get into that I'm gonna get into that because I feel like for some of you you may have tried to forget this person you may have tried to forget this connection. I just got chills. My ears uh, feel really warm. Um, you may have tried to move on. Because, okay, hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me finish. Let me finish with what this is for you. Okay, so I see you getting really stable. All right, I see you getting extremely stable, secure, there's something about your finances that is improving. I'm seeing a father-like figure, a home. Um, some of you, either you're selling a house or you're moving homes, but you really see the antlers, how they're, um, they are just um, being lit up by the energy and the light of the eclipse, the solar eclipse here. I think this is solar eclipse. Um, there is something that you know is occurring. There is something within your intuition that is telling you this is clear to do. This is your, I just start clear for takeoff. More of this airport references to that dream I had. Something is, is clear for you to begin. Something again, back to this clear sky, right? That vision that we had with this entity saying, okay, manifest your miracle, make a wish. Something is clear is clear for you just like that clear sky you have an understanding of what it is that you can ground in this in this reality i feel like a dream of yours is also beginning to ground itself is becoming stable a dream of yours is becoming stable stable to to bloom okay stable to take off right because when things take off what what do they do they bloom they grow okay so i, I do see that and it's it's very secure 
I see something very getting very secure for you. This is um, like pentacle like energy that's coming in right now for you. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius, please. The elephant. I mean, I just like, I love spirit. Like, Lord Ganesh. But the elephant is to remove obstacles. I feel like spirit is, um, they may uh, just repeat messages now because we may have it here for you. So let's see. Let me get a few more. This is Lord Ganesh energy. Lord, Lord Ganesh re removes obstacles to clear the way, right? Imagine the trunk just like whoosh, whoosh, clearing the way, okay? For you to set something in motion, for you to begin, for you to take off. Oh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, see, Ace of Pentacles. I, I'm telling you, I can feel Pentacle energy for you right now. So we're going to stop right there for you. Okay, I, I see something new taking off. You're becoming extremely grounded and secure and confident. You are 100% protected. I also feel like your money is also protected or, or you're thinking of some kind of financial investment. This would be a good time to do it. There's going to be, again, that clear sky. You're going to manifest your miracle. Make a wish because it's coming true. Tangibility, pinnacle energy. Or things that you can see, touch, smell, feel. They're in your reality. These are tangibility, actualization. So when I talk, so sometimes, sometimes uh, I say, you know, there are, there are shifts, okay? And there are a multitude of shifts that occur for actualized change. This is actualization, meaning tangibility. So there's a wish here that you that you are returning to. You're returning to a dream. You're returning to a wish. It's clear for you to manifest. It's clear for you to take off. And it actualizes in your reality. It no longer becomes a thought. It no longer becomes just a wish in the stars. It becomes real. It becomes tangible. So it's no longer a wish. It becomes an experience. Ace of Pentacles. You see also, um, <laughs> you see this? That looks like a star. See how, see that? See this shape, the crack? looks like a star right there because that's your wish that is forming in your reality it's taking form thank you spirit now we're going to weave this message into this person because this is your Para this is your reality. Now we're going to experience the magic and the weaving of this person, okay? Um, in their parallel reality. Because I feel like that's what's happening here. And you guys connect and you guys meet. So I want to see a little bit about them, spirit. Let's see. Actually, yeah, let me go here. Let's see their parallel. Let me see their parallel reality. The perfect storm. Like I This is, in, this is just incredible. You also have your 4444. Perfect storm. Okay, yeah, interesting. You also have your 644. 64444. Um, this is my number of protection. 
So whenever you see 644, it's protection against evil and bad luck. You can look it up. It's a very powerful number of protection. If you ever need confirmation that you are protected, ask to see 644. Okay, so let's see what this person, their parallel reality, right use of power and adaptability. I'm seeing 810, something on August 10th for them. I'm also getting the year 2010. I'm also getting an 8888 eight, eight frequency. Well, really, 888 you do have here. All right, let's... Uh... Let this download in. It could be a Scorpio. Scorpio's here. They're adapting to their pain. Immediately, because uh, I can see, I can see it. It's right here. There's, there's a fucking star. Like, how many synchronicities do we need in this reading right now? <laughs> like, there's a star. I'm I said that. Someone sees you as the star. Someone sees you as the star. <sighs> I mean, okay, we're going to take that too. So they could be a Scorpio. They could be a Pisces. I'm seeing here the fish. Wow, Phoenix. Underneath that, this person is going through a transformation. Confirmation right there from spirit. Um, they could be like... <sighs> any sign i'm getting i'm getting a strong earth could be another aquarius scorpio pisces i'm feeling the strongest um but you know all right see this energy these are two different cards two different people uh, creators look at the colors right here and then look at this color see how they go together Whenever I see the scorpion card, it's, it's someone. It's something is stinging. It hurts. It's painful. But they're adapting to the pain. They're adapting to their hurt. They're adapting. Adaptability. They got crown games, right use of power. This is the way they see you. We'll we'll get into this perfect storm in just a moment. I wanna. Let me shuffle. I want, I'm curious about this pain. The hawk. Okay, so they've been getting a lot of um, the sun. Wow. They may be very intuitive or they may, they may start to see, to witness, to understand that there's something more. There's an unseen realm. There's an unseen world. They feel very intuitive. They've been getting a lot of um, divine messages about you. Here with the hawk. That's also the source of their pain. Because now they see, now they see, now they know. That's the source of their pain. Spirit has been sending them messages. Spirit has been sending them signs. They have their own intu intu intuitive knowing. And that's also painful to them. Because they are working against the clock. Remember the parallel realities for you it was perfect timing. For them, they're working against the clock. And so things started to come up for them. Pain. They're doing a good job adapting to it, understanding it, analyzing it, stepping into their power and using it wisely. I feel like their ego changed. Um, something about them feels more gentle and not so rough is something that I'm feeling here with them. I 
As soon as I started to get messages, the hawk spirit here from the divine about you, it confirmed something that their intuition has always felt. And the next card is death. Yeah, they're going through a transformation. I mean, we saw the phoenix. Here's death. But the reason why they are working against the clock, they feel like it's it's too late, is because they think it's over. They think it's over. They think it's it's done. They think the clock has run out. Or they thought. They may have thought this. I feel like they're getting an intuitive sense that this ending is an ending that they're experiencing internally and they can distinguish the, the separation of an internal ending and an external ending because they're now putting the threads of transformation together. They can understand now that the transformation of themselves is leading to the beginning with you. I think this is the deepest reading I've ever done regarding love. You and this person are like, you have a very good under like a high emotional IQs. Like, this is, this is maturity. This is not a stupid fuckface that has no idea what the hell's going on in their world. This is a person that knows. This is a person that's self-aware. Ace of... I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, I... They know it's leading to a new beginning with you. Oh, my God. They're just, they're a lizard right now. <laughs> I laugh because um, we're going to lead to the next message here, okay, in just a moment. Because the lizard is this energy that um, is kind of, ma not masking themselves, but um, what's that word? Oh, fuck. What's that word? blending into their uh, blending in like their oh my god what's that word some someone also has a mosaic wall i'm seeing that here uh like they love ceramic mosaic something about that is like really intriguing to them someone may be an artist in that in that regard like they I'm also seeing the scales in both of these. What's that word? Blending in, I guess. We'll just go with that. Because there's a word that I'm thinking that you may be like, oh, it's this one. And I'll read 100 comments saying, this is the word you're looking for. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's blending in. I Camouflage. Oh, my God. <laughs> Camouflage. <laughs> I know you guys were yelling at me. I know you guys were yelling at me. And you're just like, it's camouflage. Okay. Camouflage. They're camouflaging into their experience. They're camouflaging into their, um, they're just like, they're, they're, <sighs> I feel like this is how they will be. I feel like most of them are, are adapting to their pain. They're receiving a lot of messages about you and they're understanding that this transformation of self is leading to a new beginning with you. So I feel like that's where majority of them are. Once they have this understanding, they're going to, they're going to shift into the lizard energy, which is like this camouflage blending into their experience because they're watching. They're watching, maybe even watching intuitively. Like you ever get that feeling where like you 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 tap into your intuition to watch? You tap in your into you tap into your intuition to watch. To check in. Do I feel something different? Did something shift? Do I feel differently? When I think of X, Y, and Z, or if I think of this person, did something shift inside of me? Because that tells me that something is 
something is happening. They're going to feel like that. They're going to check in. They're going to camouflage themselves, meaning they're not going to be so outwardly and they're externally, like you may not hear from them. You may not see them. Um, they also may be quite isolated at this time, not seeing their friends, not seeing their family. They're just kind of in the background, like wallflowers, right? They're going to check in to watch intuitively. They're going to check in to see you intuitively. Hey, what do I feel when I think of, when I think of her, when I think of him, what do I feel? Oh my God. I got I to gotta do something now because something shifts. And I kid you not, I feel like you, I feel like you, for, like you wanted to forget about this person or you, you, you started to date other people and they felt it. That's the feeling. That's the shift that they're going to feel. That you're looking for new. I want to look into that. I want to look into that. Because they see you as a star. Mermaids love. It's a perfect storm. Someone may be like really into mermaids or something like that. Competition. Yeah, I see you dating. I see you meeting new people. I, I feel like you forgot about this person. They check in and they check in in their intuition and they're like, oh, fuck. I got to do something now or it's too late. I got to do something now. Three of swords in the reverse. Pain. Pain. But you know what? It's in the reverse, meaning like the, the pain is on its way out. The pain is on its way out regarding this connection. You are healing. They are healing. Like, it's in the reverse. I love that. Okay. You're definitely ready. Five of swords. Oh, my God. They're in their, they're in their head. They're going to be in their head. Seven of pentacles. Nine of swords in the reverse. I feel like four of pentacles... Yeah, here's the three of cups in the reverse. You didn't like your options. Two of pentacles in the reverse. Oh, I, feel, I feel like dating gave you a headache. <laughs> I get it. I, I totally fucking get that. I mean, yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm reading. Hold on just uh, one second. I feel like, yeah, some, someone here just really does not like dating. Four four again, a lot of a lot of four four eight energy, uh, four of swords, four of cups in the reverse, four 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 here again, a lot of protection, a lot of protection, king of wands in the reverse, knight of wands in the reverse, king of pentacles in the upright, there it is, the tower, sudden. There's that breakthrough and the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Yeah. See, I, I'm, I'm seeing here that you, you tried. You tried dating. You tried dating. And you weren't really getting anywhere. I feel like you may have met a king of uh, wands energy here. I feel like they gave you some kind of headache. I feel like you just really didn't like dating. You didn't want to put your time or you understood that your time was so important. You didn't like your options. Here with the two of pentacles in the reverse. I am also getting that with this group, like with you guys, you do not like talking to more than one person. It's something that I'm seeing here. Like it's really difficult for you to date because you know how important your time is. You know how sacred your energy is to create and to manifest that by like dispersing your energy to more than one person is actually exhausting five of swords like you just want your peace nine of swords in the reverse you just want your peace you just want your happiness i feel like 
you tried, you tried your hardest to forget about this person. Even though you were open to meeting new people, I feel like there's a little bit of a feeling that I'm getting that you kind of were not, but you tried. But there was, an, there was an aspect here of yourself like you couldn't give your all. You couldn't give your all. You know it's sacred. Your all, your love, your energy, of course. You know your worth. You're not just going to give it to anybody. But I feel like it was almost an energy of like, I just, oh, I don't want to. Or something didn't feel right. Something was off. But I feel like you tried with someone here. A king of wands could be a uh, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it was a setback. It was a disappointment. With the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Talk to me about, yeah, you're not going to see them coming. I, I, that's what I feel. I feel like they're, you're not going to see them coming. And when the, when the blindfolds come off, look at them sit there with their pentacle. Look at them, look, look at, look at how this is going to tie in. Look at them sit there with the, with, with their pentacle. You're going to open the blindfold because you're not going to see them coming just like how i felt in the beginning of the reading i'm like who is this why are you here i'm talking about aquarius spiritual growth first what what's going on you're not going to see them coming when you open the blindfold because you tried to forget about this person you tried to shoo the messages away you didn't want to see their name you don't want to listen to that song because it reminded you of them. You ever like see a person, a person's name, and you're just like, I don't want to see that spirit. I let go of that person. I forgot about them. What the, what the actual fuck? <laughs> That's you like shooing spirit away because you don't want to see it. But the blindfolds come off. You look at them and they're different. They're mature. They're transformed. I mean, we looked at their parallel reality. They're changed. They've adapted. They're, they're a whole different energy, honey. Death, trans, uh, phoenix energy. And they're holding this pentacle. And somehow, perfect storm. It's a star and the energy, the pentacle that you have wished upon. And they're holding it. This is what people mean by stars aligning. The, I, 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 I felt earlier like you guys are going to connect somehow. Somewhere, somehow, you guys connect. It could be in a serendipitous way. It could be... I don't know, but it's a perfect storm. You guys are going to connect and you're going to see that your wishes, your values, your morals, your experiences, your realities align. Because I feel like for this group, your realities and the way that spirit brought this message forward and um, I've never read parallel realities before in this way. I totally forgot what I was, what I was just going to say. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. What the fuck? Hold on. You guys are going to, yeah, connect. You guys are going to connect. The way that I read parallel realities and I said, you're, I feel like for this group, you you couldn't connect at first because your realities just were completely different. They, they, they didn't align. Or maybe your wishes, your goals, your dreams, your values, maybe that 
aligned in speech like you both wanted the same things but the reality is the reality is at that time that you connected didn't mirror that didn't match that but now it does because you're living your dream you're living your authenticity you are focusing on self and you're doing what you're doing the bloom the the wish the the miracle the parallel reality reality we read for you you're experiencing it now they're also in their parallel reality and they ended up here now it aligns and you're ready there's a part of me that knows that there's something inside of you that when you see when you take the blindfolds off you're it's almost like you have an intuitive feeling that you're not going to be disappointed four of cups in the reverse when you see them when you take the blindfold off and you look at them and you look at them look at you because they see you as a star there's this feeling in my gut that i feel like you will have that you're not going to be disappointed That you can spend your time wisely here with the Four of Swords. That you can express yourself to, to him or her openly. When I say spend time wisely, there's something about quality time. Because the Knight of Wands is beside this energy here. And the Knight of Wands is in the reverse which is consistency. I feel like there's no more inconsistency because usually when the Knight of Wands is in the upright position, it's this very fast, passionate, high spark, but then just dwindles and it's not consistent. But here it's consistent. So that's what I was saying, like, because I said spend time wisely, meaning there's consistent quality time. You're going to spend your time wisely. And you are going to feel like you're not wasting time. You're not wasting time. You have time to spend. This is what I have. I mean, I don't even know if I should keep going. Um, I feel like I want to leave it here. I feel like this is... It ended so perfectly. Perfectly aligned. This reading completely took me by surprise and I feel like this is how you're going to feel. Um, I love you guys so very much. Just a few housing items because I don't like to say it in the beginning. Um, I am open for personal readings. If you are interest, interested excuse me, in booking a personal reading with me, there is about a five to six month wait list. Um, but I trust that if you put in your request, I will get to your reading in divine timing. Okay. Everything in divine timing, right? Um, there's also memberships that are open on my channel. You just click the button join. There's two, um, different groups. The first group is, you know, just at a very low cost. You can just support my channel. In the second group, it's called the Crow of Akashics and Shadows. I do weekly membership reading for the members that join that group. Um, yeah, every Wednesday, uh, I do weekly readings for, for the members. So I love you guys so very much. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for uh, trusting me. That's so important. Um, even though I'm an online reader, you should, you're putting your energy out there and it should be trusted. Um, you should have faith and trust. So anyway, okay, I'm just babbling. I love you guys. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.